Okay, so I wasn't gonna make this video because I genuinely thought that I messed up. I thought this was a, a mistake on my end. I used a copyrighted image in a video, so I got a, I got a strike on the channel. But then I checked the copyright strike at the timestamp that YouTube gave me, and I genuinely think this could be the worst thing to ever happen to the Backrooms community and to people who do videos on liminal spaces and just YouTube in general, because we all know how messed up the copyright strike system is here on YouTube, but I did not think it could get this bad. I'm going to show you all what happened, and I genuinely just don't understand how someone can copyright strike this. Um, this, is, this is awful. Okay, so here is the the strike detail thing. It was in a video that I made last December for Brugmas, if you can see. And the strike is from Giant Food in from Burtonsville, Maryland. There was a strike added to the channel. The uh, video was removed and it's ineligible to monetize. I don't care about this stuff. This stuff doesn't matter to me. I This is not the problem. Copyright strikes should exist, yes, and things should be able to be taken down, but I just want to show you exactly what they're trying to strike. So they have the segment 18 seconds to 31 seconds, and they're saying that this was a copyrighted image or copyrighted content in some way, and I just want you to watch the con- I'm going to have to blur it in the video, but I want you to watch this so I don't get a strike on this one, but here we go. 18 seconds terrify you and if you don't have that fear well you'll probably still like the video i hope anyways thank you for watching let's get into the video shall we check the top link in the description for brugly merch use code brugmas for 10 percent off thank you okay tell me in this 18 seconds to 31 second segment where there was copyrighted material because in that 18 seconds all you could see was the glimpse of this and, image, and that was only for that was only for half a second. And the rest of the time, it is my character. It is lights and a blurred background of a random grocery store aisle with no logos, no marketing. It is literally a heavily blurred image. You don't and not only that, that, not only that. No, it doesn't end there. Here, well, you'll probably still like the video. I hope. Anyways, thank. you. It's my character again with a Santa Claus hat. Thank you for watching. All custom content. Let's get into the video, shall captions. we? Check the... And then a shameless plug from myself for my own store. My own merch store. For Top the last five seconds of this designated time Thanks stamp. the description for Brugly merch. Use code Brugmas for 10% off. Thank you. Tell me where in that content is is not custom content. Tell me where I'm copywriting in this content. This is the image that they're saying that I, you know, got the copyright strike for. This image is not the same as the image in the clip before. This is the image before that could have been, like, copyrighted. Because they did from 18 to 31. This is at 17. This is not the same image. You can literally tell easily. This image has a, a red shelf. The lights are visible. There's light bars visible. This has no red shelf. There's one light bar visible, and you can't see what's actually in there. So even if this was the copyrighted image, and for some reason they just messed up the timestamp, this still is not the same image as the one used on here, which is licensed as a CC by SA2. So this image is the copyrighted image from the you know, giant food. This is the one that did the copyright strike, but they should have done it for this image. This image is not, is not this image at all. So that completely nullifies the entire timestamp because even if, like I said, even if it was a second before, this is not the image, not even the same one. It's crazy, bro. So from this 18 second to 31 second, there is half a second of an image that, and if they might have claimed, but even if they did, they should have claimed the timestamp before, like Land this. Land of ice. Like 12 to 18. If you have a fear of being stuck in a. This is not copyrighted. This is an old image with, again, no descript logos, no copyright from the holder. Because at 18 seconds, it's gone. So what are what is between 18 and 31 seconds? And if seconds, you don't that is something that is able to be copyrighted. I genuinely want someone from YouTube or somebody that's like a guru on this to tell me in these in these seconds, have that fear, well, you're probably still, which part of this is not custom content? My character is custom, this is custom, 
like the video, I hope. Anyway, and half of this timestamp is me think. just shilling my own merch you for watching. From my own Let's store. Let's the video, shall we? Check the top. Look at this. Over half of this is literally just my store with nothing else. And if they're trying to copyright the background, it's completely blurred out. There's no logos. And this is just a random image of a grocery store aisle. What can you do on YouTube if you're not safe from just using a picture of a grocery store aisle with no logos? This is a nondescript freezer section. But say that this strike is valid. Say that I actually messed up. Say that, you know, this is whatever. They can copyright strike the video, give a strike to the channel. What does that mean for the rest of the backrooms and liminal space community? Can anybody that took a picture of a random liminal space or a store or a movie theater, can anybody just copyright strike someone for using that, even though it's nondescript, it's just a random thing? Can I go inside of a, a movie theater, take a picture of the, the hallway being empty, and then file a copyright, and then somebody uploads the picture, I can strike their entire channel? That doesn't make any sense. Like this image in Wendigoon's latest, you know, Crypto's Iceberg video. What if the the owner of this image just came to his channel and struck it for him using it for like 10 seconds? Or the picture of the skunk ape? That's a famous image, just like all these liminal space images are. What if somebody struck his video for doing that? Or literally any of like, any of these images, are, I mean, they're not credited in the description. So like how, what is protecting a creator from something like this? And I can understand um, copyright claiming the video if there was claimed content, such as that picture. You know, like even if that picture was the proper picture from the wiki dot, why, they could have claimed the video, but they striked the video instead. A claim is not a strike. You know, they just, they can split the money from a claim, but a strike is, you know, endangering to the channel as a whole. So tell me why, as you know, a YouTuber, and I know other YouTubers have gone through this, there's no safeguard, there's no protection from people striking channels because of stuff like this. How are people allowed to strike channels over a nondescript, random, blurred image in the background? I, I didn't think that was the case. I didn't think that was possible on YouTube. I know I sound like a whiny little turd right now, but it's just frustrating to me that this is the current state of YouTube. Like, what even is this? I really understand. Like, yes, that image at, at 17 seconds could have been copyrighted, but that wasn't what they were striking. That wasn't the image that has the copyright CC by SA from the wiki dot. That was a different image. It wasn't even the same thing. I just want to know when it stops. Like, what if somebody copyrights Backrooms Level Zero's picture? What if somebody wants to strike every single channel that's uploaded a picture of that? Like, what's stopping them from doing? There's nothing stopping them. And that's that should terrify everybody. Because at that point, there's nobody checking, nobody balancing any of this. And the, the strikers can just go willy-nilly and take down entire channels if they wanted to. All right, that's my rant. I'm sorry y'all had to see this video. Leave a like if you just hate this situation. I do. Like I said, even if I messed up, you know, I, I want to own up to it, but I genuinely don't understand how I can own up to something like this that I really don't think I did. Now, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. That, that's on me at that point. But I genuinely don't see how 18 to 31 seconds can be copyright struck. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Share this with your friends and family. Maybe they'll get a good laugh out of it. I don't know. Hope you'll have a great day. This is just a random ranting video. There's not really many videos like this on my channel. I try to keep it lighthearted and fun here. But when stuff like this happens, I just get kind of mad. Anyways, love y'all and appreciate you so much. I have the best fan base ever, seriously. Thank you all. I will see you um, in a few days in the next video.